Hi Steve, welcome to the Festival Studios TV. Thank you very much. You having a good weekend so far? It's been great. Good, and what are you here doing at the festival this weekend? I'm here uh, speaking at a seminar, uh, which I've done, and then this evening I'm going to speak at the main celebration, and looking forward to that. That's exciting. When you're not speaking all over the country, what else are you doing with... Uh, uh, what I do, my m main job, is yeah. I uh, founded something called the Oasis yeah. Trust, and I'm still the leader of that, and it works around the world and in this country. It's most extensive works yeah. in this country, and we run lots of schools, 47 schools. We got 25,000 kids in our wow. schools in different places around the country. We run children's centres. We run developed churches. We run coffee shops, Everything. debt advice centres, food banks, yeah, yeah. Um, farms. Yeah. Um, wow. Health centres, all sorts of things. And what has the response been, I guess, from government and what has the response been to a church coming in and taking over um, and getting involved in society? I guess that's different from what most people think of when they think of church. Yeah, I think that government is, I don't think they hold a candle for the church, if yeah. you see what I mean. It's yeah, not like, absolutely. oh, you're the church, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. It's what government are always looking for, be it national government okay. or local government, are partners that they can trust to deliver quality, quality work in a professional way yep. um, that they can rely on and are stable. So if churches can rise to that challenge, yep. that opportunity is theirs. The reason mm. Oasis is so involved in that isn't because the Tory government or the coalition government <laughs> or the Labour government or whatever yep. called us into this. The reason we're involved in it is because Jesus said love God and love your neighbour as yourself when you do it to the least of these you do it to me yeah. so it's that drumbeat yeah. that we march to and that's why we're involved and do you see a ra like a, a really radical change in the church culture because what what we hear about a lot what we read about and things like this is about how the church is declining and the opportunities are declining what are you experiencing traveling because you obviously do a lot of traveling and speaking what are you seeing I think that um, there are churches that are in decline, yeah. as we all know, but where churches get hold of the opportunity to be embedded into their culture, um, to understand local issues, to think through what it means to bring this good news of Jesus to every community, the good news of Jesus, which is good news spiritually and socially and emotionally yeah, and educationally. All those things Jesus announces, you know, in Luke 4, that famous passage yeah. where he says, the Spirit of the Lord's on me and he's anointed me to bring good news to the poor. Who are the poor? Well, look through the Gospels. They're the poor that struggle with all sorts of yeah. problems and issues yeah, yeah. in life. So when we're getting hold of that, I think it's working really well. One of the things I always think is, is, um, is brilliant about the New Testament is if you read through the letters to the first churches, Paul, for instance, says... Paul to the church in Corinth, yeah. to the church in Ephesus, yeah. to the church in uh, Colossae, etc., etc. And I think we miss that bit altogether because we just go, oh, yeah, that's just the introduction. Now, what is it he's trying to say to the whole church? Paul's not trying to say anything to yeah, the whole church. Absolutely. He's talking to a church, church or a in group of a churches. place. Yeah, absolutely. And he's giving them advice yeah. about their situation. We've yeah. tried to generalize it all. Right. But actually, the principles don't change, but the practice will change depending on where you are. Nice. So, you know, a, a, a classic thing. Yeah. I, was, I was talking to somebody the other day who said, oh, Paul said, don't get married. Yeah. And I said, no, he said to the church in Corinth that was in the middle of a famine... Yeah in a society that didn't have any contraception, yeah. don't get married because you're going to bring kids into the world that you can't feed. That's yeah, what's absolutely. going to happen. So I'd stay single for now if I were you. Uh, so, uh, do you think um, we're talking this weekend about holy ground and about being holy in that sense of that community, looking back over the past? How has the past influenced your future? What, Who do you look to for the past to influence what you're I, doing? I think that we... Um, I always think of the church as this multi-generational, through the centuries, through the millennia, yeah. conversation that's going on. Yeah. So we just happen to be the crew that's here now. Yeah. Our job is to listen to the wisdom and the voices of everyone in the, in the past, the tradition of the church, right. what's been learned through this massive movement yeah. over the years, and to value their contribution, but also to value enough our contribution that we 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 kind of wrestle with what John Wesley said yeah. and what John Wesley did. And we say, so what does that mean for us here? Does it nice. mean doing the same thing or doing a different thing? The radical um, isn't the person who always does what's been done to stay yeah. the blind in the obvious. Yeah, They're absolutely. the person who moves on. 
But faithfulness, therefore, to Scripture isn't to say, well, they did it like this in 1800 and they did it like this in 1900, so we're going to do it like this in 2016. It's to say faithfulness calls us to be just as radical as Wesley was in his culture and time. So um, I, I think that that is the task of the church ahead of us. That's really exciting. Thank you for coming by. And I guess they can go to Oasis website to find out more about what you're up to. Yeah, uh, oasisuk.org is our website. Find find out out loads more there. Thank you very much for coming by. Thank you.